Right, it's Molly and Mickey tonight. Right. Mickey is one of Molly's pups, two years old, well, two and a half years old. His owner has asked me today to take him back, then I will take care of him. Really. Well, he's been a bit of a problem for them. Well, ever since um, the woman was in a situation where she was, I think, three weeks away from being given birth to a baby. He was growing up at her and then growing at kids as well after that so come on wait you coming are you coming come on come on mickey moo molly's over there somewhere i don't know where exactly there's molly collie ah oh, there's molly collie so that's molly's baby little mickey moo all oh, right that's what he was called as a puppy little mickey moo little, little mickey mouse wouldn't you hey eh? Little Mickey Mouse. Yep. So, we'll see what happens with Mickey Mouse. We'll see what's going to happen with him. Don't know. He might stay with me. He may go to a new home. Don't know. Time will tell. Well, because obviously, you know, having him with ours, it's going to be tough for him anyway, because he's going to have to settle. And with another five dogs, it's much, much harder for him to settle than it is with just on his own. Because on his own, he'll get 100% of the attention. With another five dogs, he will not get all that attention on his own. He has to share it amongst them. Mickey, come. Mickey, come on. This way. Mickey. There's a good boy. There's a good boy, Mickey. I see ya. Yeah? It's the first time me taking him out. Obviously, one concern is... He's come down here in the past with his previous owners. He's with them for two and a half years, so coming down here with them and walking home with them, he could just run off to where his home was. Mickey Moo! Mickey! Mickey! It is. Come on, Mickey! Mickey Moo! Come, Baba! What are you going over there for, Nutter? What are you going over there for? You stay with Dad. Mickey Moo, not too far. Mickey, come on, this way. Mickey, not over there, come on. Mickey, this way. Not over there, Nutter. What are you doing, Nutter? Hey, not over there. If I just let him go over there, he will run back to the home. Most likely. It'll take at least a week. And being away from them at least a week. For him to realise he's not going back there. You know what I mean? Well, the, the, the bloke who brought the, the bloke who brought her over said his wife was crying all day. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if it's that bad for her, what's it like for her? A little one well, for him, little Mickey. It's worse for him. He doesn't understand. They do. He has no understanding at all of what's going on. Suddenly, he had a family from puppy. I mean, he remembers me because when they used to go for a walk, I'd bump into them and I'd say, Hello, Mickey. And he'd get all excited to come over. Molly, Connie, come. Come, baby. Come, Mickey Moo! Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse! Hello, Mickey Mouse! What you doing? So, yeah, it was um, April 2018 he was born. One of Molly's pups. I think she had about seven in that letter. So, that's where Mickey Mouse was from. Hi, that's a Milo. That's one of his brothers. I've no idea how most of these people are doing because. You know, occasionally people go to a different network, a phone, and they change the number. I completely lose contact. Mickey, where are you going? Come on, Mickey Mouse. He's doing actually very well. Well, basically, they wanted another pup. People that had Mickey when he was about a year old. But we were down here, exactly this point here. 
and there was another dog over here in this bit here and Mickey went running over they called him back and he wouldn't come back and I was like sorry I can't give you another dog you've had him for a year and his recall is terrible you know so with that being the case but it's better now you can see that can't you and I say come on this way okay I, I have got the buzzer on him he's got the buzzer um, the vibrate thing and oh he just he reacts well to that as in he doesn't like it he does not like it at all and he does as he's told very quickly he learns things very quickly when you use the vibrate thing on him it's that collar it has a vibrate option now when it was on Riley I had the vibrate on 56 on him it's on 92 so more or less at its maximum <laughs> Well, that's to get the responses happening quickly. It doesn't hurt it, it's just a vibration. That's all it is. Just a little vibration, it doesn't hurt in any way, shape or form. How are you doing? You having a good night? Yeah. You having a good night? I'm having a good night? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just walking on my Well, enjoy. Take Thank care. Come on. Mickey Moo! Mickey Moo! Come on, Mickey Moo. I've always got to say take care to people, especially young people, young women walking home alone. Yeah. I mean, thankfully that area is lit quite well. Um, you certainly wouldn't want to go into an area that wasn't lit well. Most people are going to be safe, but yeah. You just don't think you want to know, do you? So what I say, folks, you need to be guided by the Holy Spirit because. If you are, you're not going to go down a path where there's danger because the Holy Spirit's going to tell you not to go down that path. That's the reality. It is indeed. Well, I said earlier, I've intimated on quite a few times that, yeah, we could do with God speaking to us a lot more than what he does. Certainly, I mean, if God has spoken to me about Mickey and those owners, when they first come to visit him, that they wouldn't be suitable, then... He wouldn't have gone to him. He would have gone to a for, for completely forever home. But he didn't. And that's because, you know, I always seek guidance from God when people come out. Most of the time, don't get it unless it's completely obvious. There's just no guidance. You know, that's the reality. Well, it's nothing clear. Um, but that's where things like the spirit of discernment is quite useful. Yeah. Well, not a spirit of discernment, a gift of discernment. Yeah, because that's a spirit. That would intimate demonic. Because there's only one spirit connected to God, and it's the Holy Spirit. Hello, Mickey Moo. Mickey Mouse, how are you doing? He's having a good walk. You see his towers up. He's happy. Molly happy? Is Molly happy? Good girl, Molly Carly. Hi. Of course, the test of it's going to be... <laughs> When I take the other three doggies out, because obviously he'd be left alone in the home with Molly, and he may scream the home down. That's quite possible for the next couple of days. He may do that whenever I go out. Yeah, that is quite possible. Uh, we're going to have an interesting night tonight, definitely, because he may want. He, he likes actually jumping off of my bed. That's where he prefers to lay. I suppose it's out the way of the other dogs. That's why. Completely out the way of the other dog. Although Chewy likes to from my bed as well. Uh, Chewy is his dad. And Molly is Mickey's mum. Yeah, Molly Collie, Mickey's mum. You? You're Mickey's mum. Yeah. Molly Collie, Mickey's mum. Yes, yes, yes. All right, to be honest, we've only got um, one of Lucy's pups. Yeah, as part of the family. So why not Mickey as well? Huh? See what the plan is, really. Mickey Moo. Mickey. Mickey? Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse? Come on, Mickey Moo. Mickey? Come on, bubs. Be quicker. Come back quicker. Don't go too far, okay? I can't see you. I've got to do the vibrate, okay? I know you don't like it, but then come back quicker. As soon as I call you, come straight back. You've got to learn, learn new lessons, didn't you, eh? 
I expect me to call quickly. Yes, yes, yes. I do. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 Mickey Mouse. Look, Mickey Mouse, eh? How you doing? How you doing, Mickey Mouse? You doing okay? You doing okay, Bubba Boy? Boy. Ah. Oh. Let's see if that poo is still here from yesterday. Well, because I, I did do a video yesterday, went out with Molly, and there was poo on the path, and on this path here. Around here somewhere, around this area here, and I was thinking then it will probably still be here tonight because, well, they've left the glass here. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, that one, which I didn't actually upload. There wasn't enough in it, really. Um, anyway, as I mentioned, that one. If the council can clean up dog poo on the path, they can clean up glass. So why don't they clean up the glass? Because they don't want to. The reality is they just don't want to do that. They don't want to go to those areas where there is glass and clean it up. So I'm not sure if we've come to the area where the dog poo was actually. It was around about this sort of area on the road here. Towards the edge, but not actually over the edge. Ah, oh, I think it's over here. Yes, it was over here. I remember that bit there it was there. Yeah. It was here. Oh, it's all been trod in. There you go. I mean, it's been driven over by a car. Yeah, so instead of picking it up, they've just driven over. No surprise there. Well, as I say, I don't know. As I, say I mean, these, these council people, they want to be paid. Certainly the people in charge of bringing in the, the rates, like council tax and stuff like that, they want to be paid. But they don't want to go and do their job, do they? They don't want their workers to do their job. Any excuse, they won't do it. Any excuse whatsoever, they just won't do it. I mean, say the people in charge are lazy. Yeah. Mickey Moo! Mickey Mouse! What you doing? Mickey Mouse! How are you? How's you doing, Mickey Mouse? You doing good, my boy? He's doing good. How are you? <laughs> Wait, this way. Not going over there. Not going that way, Mickey. Well, my life think we're going that way as well, but we don't. Not anymore. This way. Come, Mickey Mouse. You follow Molly Colly. Molly Colly knows where we're going. That's when she's not stopping sniffing. Hey, Molly Colly, eh? <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. He's just stopping him. Laying down, he's got that those traits of a sheepdog. He's definitely got that from his dad, not from his mum. He would have got none of that from his mum at all because his mum hasn't got any in her really. Definitely from his dad. Mickey Mouse, how you doing? How you doing, Mickey Mickey? He's a good boy. Chad, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. What you got, Mickey? What's that, Babs? What you got? You got a sticky? Oh, Mickey found something. What about Mickey Mouse? What's he got, Papa Boy? You got a sticky? What about Mickey Mouse? Now go and what about Mickey Moo? Good boy. It's good boy. It's good boy. Well, as I said, I don't know what's going to happen with him because, as I said, I offered him to the lady who was after one of Amber's pups, but couldn't afford it. And then she says she only wants a feed out, so I said, I'm fine, okay. I said to her basically, well then, you want to get the pup? I said it in the nicest way possible, but the reason why is quite simple. When people put restriction on like that, so if someone says, I only want a melt, I don't trust any feed on just a melt, I said, okay, then I have to wish the well and go somewhere else. Because for me, I try and put, if at all possible, I try and put the right pup with the right people. Therefore, there's a better chance it'll be for a uh, forever home. Because that's what you want. You want it to be forever. So you don't want to put a pup with someone just because it's a female and they want a female. That female might not be appropriate for that person. What's the point of doing that? Mickey! Mickey! Oh, I see you. I see you, Mickey Mouse. You got behind me, didn't you, eh? 
There you go. I need to get you a collar. I do, I need to find a collar for Mickey. I do have a spare collar actually. I've got a yellow one. It's on Lucy, it's pretty fat, but I can use that. And that one. But yeah, so that woman, yeah, I've told her basically she wants to get the pot from me now. Yeah, if you want to put limitations like that, then that's not something I work for. Yeah, because it limits what I can do. But especially with this lady, she works. She works a lot. Um, so with that being the case, I'm going to have to speak to you about that as well, just to push the point that you can't have a pup. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you work that much, how are you going to look after a pup? And also, he's only two years old. He's not an old dog, is he, really? There's not her attitude was, but she's had older dogs before. You know, adopted older dogs. He's only two years old. Not that old. He's still a baby. But two and a half, isn't he? Yeah? So he's only a baby. Okay, coming up to three, three in April. Yeah, he's still a baby. I mean, see by his nature. His nature was a baby. Really, it is an absolute problem. So, yeah, so at least with him, he's torn a train. Um, he'll come back when he's called. He'll sit when you tell him. He'll lay down somewhere. He'll do all that. Now, he's got to get out of one habit. When he's eating food, if you go anywhere near him, when he's eating food, he'll grind at you. And that's something I'm going to train him out of with this vibrator thing. With a collar. With the vibrate bit on the collar. Put food down. If he starts to growl, vibrate. He's going to stop straight away. Get close to him. If he starts to growl, vibrate. And if he doesn't start to growl, they vibrate. He will know. He will know. Because, you know, good behaviour, good rewards, bad behaviour, bad rewards. That's why it has to be. You've got to do that to teach the dog. Nicky, come here. Nicky. Nicky, this way. Good boy. Why not, Nicky? He's a bubba. How's Monty Cotton? Hey, Monty's pretty good. I'm going to focus with this bit, Nicky. You're still doing okay, Monty Cotton. Good. Where's he gone? Nicky, where are you gone? There you are, you're in front. Okay. Wonder where you are, mate. Yeah, you're black and white, it's night time. <laughs> not at all, not a lot of coffee. We would want it, we barely see it with coffee. Right. Well, my hair's getting a bit long around here with the time. Nicky move! Nicky doody! I was quite pleased with the videos I did now, if you were with regards to the song, so they're quite good. Nice and short, to the point, which is good. That's the whole thing, that's what should be done really. Short to the point. Mickey Mouse! Come on, but what's your car? I do it. No, that's what I'm saying. 
saying, to the point. I mean, I've said before that uh, really, in ministry and things like that, you should give what God gives you the gift. But then, shut up. Not it. Then go and do something else. So, like doing videos, things like that, certainly when I do it at home, it's easier. Because I've got something to give, to give it, and get it. There's something else to give, do another video. It's fine. Yeah, another little 10 minute video, that's cool. Do that, that's the job. Mickey Mouse, how you doing? Careful over there, Mickey. Mickey, come here. This way. Mickey, come on. Good boy. Be careful, there's a little glass over there, mate. Be careful on that, my boy. Oh, boy. You're doing better. You notice that. You've been off a few times, I've had to use the vibrate. You know, he's staying much, much closer now. He's learning very, very quickly. He's having to readapt, but he's learning so quickly. And that's so good because, I mean, in a way, that's going to help him to settle. Because he's got these other things on his mind now. He's having to learn new things. And that's good. So, yeah. See what happens. But uh, certainly, I would certainly recommend those training collars for people. Yeah, the ones that do beep and vibrate. Not the ones that do static shock, but the ones that do just beep and vibrate. They're brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. They do a brilliant job. I mean, the one he's got on does do all three, but I won't need the, the shock, the static shock, because he's responding to the beep and the vibrate. And that's the thing, the beep can be a warning that leads to the vibrate. And so that's good. That's exactly what you want. And then on the vibrate, he does it. He does it his toes straight away. No mucking about. I did it earlier in the garden that I've got. Called him. He didn't come. Because I was trying to brush his hair. Because, ah, oh, to say he's molting is just ridiculous. Well, I've got five dogs. They're all molting. I've got more hair off him than I did off all of mine. <laughs> so, yeah. He, come, he wants to jump up for a cuddle because, of course, he's, he's a bit heartbroken, so therefore he wants love. And that's cool. It's just you don't really want your clothes, your face, your hands, everything covered in hair. So try and brush him. As soon as I try and brush him, he lays down and shows his belly. He says, give me a belly, Bob. I'm trying to brush you, Muppet. Pack it up. <laughs> so I took him outside, took the brushes outside, and called him, he wouldn't come to all the brushes, he didn't like the idea of that. So I used to vibrate, and then he's like, oh crap, I've got to go, okay. And then, yeah, brushed him, walked away again, called him, he didn't come, vibrate. He came. Hi. Well, it's like now, you know, again, with regards to laying down sleeping, because he wouldn't initially. He just wouldn't do it. And so, in the end, again with the vibrate, I told him to lay down in one of the doggy's beds, and he wouldn't. So vibrate, get in there, go on, go and lay down. He went and lay down. Then he didn't like it in there, probably because it smells of Amber and Lucy, and of course they're the dominant sort of girls. They're the ones that are being a bit more growly towards him. So it's like, right, this good boy was that good. Good bit of walkies. Where's Molly Collie? Molly Collie! There she is, all the way back there. Come on, girly girl, what you doing? Come on, Molly Collie, up you go. Come on. Come on, Baba girl, here she comes. Here she comes. Here comes Molly Collie, here she comes. Here she is! Hello! <laughs> so, yeah, then after that, well, he didn't want to go into that bed. I said, go on, go on again. He then jumped up on my bed. All I have to say now is, up you get. He just jumps up. No problem at all. Straight up there. And he will lay down. 
He will be very down for a while. Not for long. As soon as I leave the room, he wants to come in. Oh. <laughs> if I go out somewhere, he wants to come out. Come on, 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 Two whistles, is it? Oh, I think there's two whistles, is it? I'm not sure. There's one there. No, I think there's only one. Yeah. Felt like there were two whistles, but I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, there's one there as well. Is that noisy for you? Is that loud? Good. That'll get your attention, won't it? There you go. Ah, there are two whistles there. Good. That's good then. Okay, Molly Collie. Love you, Bubba Girl. Yes, hello, Molly Collie. Right, come this way. Nicky Moo. This way, bud. I'll put it this way. I mean, once Mickey starts to settle, and once the other starts to pick him. Mickey, come. Mickey. Where's he gone there? There you are. What you doing over there? What you doing over there, Mickey Moose? Good boy. You came in cool. Good boy, Mickey Moose. Well done. Well done, pup pup. Well done, boy. See? Didn't even have to use a vibrate. I called him. He just came. He was, he was right over there. He ran from quite a distance. <laughs> That's going to get him back. But what I was saying was, as soon as the other dogs accept him, and he's okay with them, he will come out for a walk with them. Because of the fact that obviously I can stick him in the other the other vehicle and he can probably jump in there, okay. Um, and that'd be good, but at the moment, not a good idea. Well, because at the moment, Chewie and Riley, when they get in the car, as soon as I start driving, they start growling at each other, snarling at each other. But Jesus, come on. You're son and boy. What is the matter with you? You lay down indoors, and every time you lay down indoors, you're right next to each other anyway, most of the time, so therefore you don't grab at each other then, do you? Nutters. They even play together, they even take turns playing with Amber. So, yeah, what on earth they're growing at, I don't know. Yeah, it's not as if, you know, well, I don't think Amber's in heat yet. If Amber was in heat, it would make sense, because they'd be growing over her. But this is something that's been going on for a while. So, yeah. I don't think that's the case. It's because of Amber. Mickey, move! Where are you? Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey? He is? He is? Hey, Mickey. Hello, Mickey. How are you doing? Mickey, move. He is? <laughs> He's quite big. Well, I mean, compared to Riley, he's bigger than Riley. He's bigger than Riley. That's what that's he's about the same size as his mum, I guess. Let's give him a little bit of a little Yeah, but it's, some, but it's so much better if he comes out with them, because then he can run around with them. But Chewie's a nice, he will run for a long way. And so therefore, he can chase Chewie, and that was good. He's kind of settled as well at the point of not be you know, trying to come out when I go out. Just look a bit more, yeah. But because he's lost the family, obviously, yeah, he needs that support right now. Doesn't he? he needs that uh, reassurance. Right now, so that's that. Come, buddy, Cody, where are you? You're over there, okay. What on earth you're doing all the way over there? I do not know. Mickey Mouse, what you doing? I see you. 
I see you. I see the Mickey Mouse. Yes, I do. I see the Mickey Mouse. I do. I see you. Yeah. It's all fun and games. I'll say. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, if the woman who wants the dog has any wisdom, she will take him. But again, uh, I'll have to find out what job she does and all that lot because leaving him alone right now wouldn't work anyway. If he goes to a new home, he needs to go to a home where the people are going to be there. Yeah, to give him that reassurance, to let him know that when I find him, he's not going to leave his family, they're going to stay with him. There needs to be people that either have young children already, or preferably people with no children. Certainly with no young children. And if they do have older children that have kids, just keep them out of the way when the grandkids are coming over for a visit. You yeah, know, that sort of thing. You're going to do what's that, Molly Collie? That there. I don't know what that is. No idea at all. Is it a pregnancy test or something like that? No. Could be. Give it. There you go. You got a sticky. Oh, you found a sticky. There you go. You found a sticky, didn't you, my boy? Hey. Alright. Alright. Well, it's quite funny because, like Nicky, there's Gracie, who also lives nearby. And whenever I see Gracie, she remembers me as well, and she comes over with all this funny work excitement. And she wants to love and gets all excited. But he, oh, he would always get so excited. Mickey Moo! Mickey Mouse! Come here, Bubs. Come in, Molly. Get in, Molly. In you go, Bubs. Molly, jump. In you get. Come on, Molly. In you get. Jump in. Right, here you go. I'll leave you to it. God bless.